Let me show you how to test a solar panel. Tools you're gonna need. A multimeter, solar panel, and the sun. Now to test your solar panel, make sure there's nothing covering the solar panel because anything that's gonna cover the solar panel is gonna make a drop in voltage. It's gonna make a drop in amps. But make sure it has a clear window display straight to our heavenly sun. And to test it on the multimeter, we're gonna change it to volts. Make sure it's on DC, not AC. And then it's gonna read 20.88, which the back of the panel stated 21.6, meaning we're pretty much in the ballpark of the correct amount of volts that we need. And to tell if your solar panel has bad coverage, we're just gonna cover some of it and look how low it gets. Now, when we get out of the way of the solar panel, it jumps right back up. Any type of coverage, I mean, this is my hand right here, it'll go down and then sparks right back up and I put my hat over it, it should go right down to 19. So like I said, make sure you have a clear window display to our heavenly sun. But what if I do have a clear window display and it's still showing that I have less than 20? Don't worry. It means your solar panel is most likely dirty and so that means you need to grab some warm soapy water, get a microfiber towel and gently clean off the dirt and dust off of the solar panel. Test it again and then it should read almost so. And last but not least, make sure your solar panel is pointed south, southwest, and keep it at a 20 degree angle. If you're not in the state of Florida, all the way up to North Carolina, a quick Google search will help you figure out what angle you need to keep your solar panel at. Depends on your location, but you're gonna wanna keep it pointed south, southwest. Then if everything checks out, then you're cooking good looking.